is sending messages to individuals. So there is a possibility to send message to unique numbers which are not saved as contacts. So till now what we have seen is we, we sent messages to all the contacts that were saved. So because in the search we could find that person or we tried sending to groups which were also kind of stored inside WhatsApp. Okay, so we had everything. But now what we'll do is we'll learn how to send to unique numbers that are not stored anywhere on your phone. Those are new numbers. Okay, so this feature is really helpful and saves a lot of time and effort because sometimes, you know, you if you want to send a message to a new number, you might have to save it and then open WhatsApp and then do it. But from here, there is no requirement of saving. You don't need to create extra contacts each time. Just send the message and you are done. Okay, so we'll go to the template file and see how this works. So this is the template file and here now you see that instead of the name, I have defined my phone number. Okay, and this is the message. The other template part is the same. The only thing that is changed here is instead of the name, we have the phone number. Also, one more thing which I would like to show you here is if I double click, then the first character is starting with this sign. Okay, so you can put that in case you don't want any errors. Like if you start with a plus sign, then Excel might not save it correctly. So you have to start with a sign like this. Okay, then your number will be saved correctly. It will not give any errors. Okay, so now as we did for the last file, we'll try again the same procedure. We'll click on the send button first. So you see the WhatsApp is opening. Okay, and now you see that my number pops up on the top and the message is written here. So now you see the message is sent, right? So that's the way how a message to an individual number is sent, right? So let's go back to the template file and let's see what's the code behind this. So we'll go to the developer tab and click on visual basic and here If you go to the module one, you will find the code which says button one click. Okay. And this code is slightly different from the other one. The difference is because we are using a different method to send the message. Okay. So let's uh, try to see what's inside the code here. So we have a mobile number, we have a row number and we have a message as string. Okay. So row is defined as two. That is our starting row. Okay. And for the moment I have commented this for loops for and next. Okay. This can be used if we want to send messages to multiple numbers in one go. So we read the mobile number from cells two comma one. So as we did in the last script, we read the name here. We read the mobile number and the message is read from the second column. Okay. So we have just uh, read the values here in mobile number and message as of now. So then we open the WhatsApp web, but here the syntax is slightly different. So we use this syntax active workbook dot follow hyperlink address. We specify web dot WhatsApp dot com. And here we have to write these additional things where we define the mobile number. So and is used for concatenating or joining the two strings. OK, so we add the mobile number and add text equals to. So this is a standard syntax message. So this is the our message. If you see, this is what we have read. Okay, so we are using mobile number here and we are using message here. Okay, and the rest of the code is standard. You don't need to modify it. In fact, you don't need to even modify the mobile number and the message. These are read from your cells. But this syntax is used because we are using now directly the phone number instead of the saved contact. Okay, then we give it a waiting time of 35 seconds. So what happens is when it's open now, then directly this number gets opened and then we give the page down key and then we press the enter key. So the page down is required in case, you know, uh, you have uh, longer messages and you know, when you open the WhatsApp window, it does not fit properly. So that's the reason I've used page down it. You may not require it. So in those cases, you could just comment this. So what will happen is when you open this window, like once this code is executed, you will have the number on the top for that person and the message written on the below and we just need an enter key so we can directly go ahead with an enter key and 20 seconds is the waiting time for the message to deliver. 
right? So that's the way we'll be using to send messages directly to numbers which are not saved in our phone. All right. And in case you want to loop it, you want to you know do it for multiple numbers, you can just uncomment this for loop and the next here and then it will be possible for you.